Young Lee Clark's a quiet lad, and though he's quite the drinker, he ain't half sharp when he's half cut. Lee's the barstool thinker. Known to counter Einstein once he's sunk his sixteenth stout, he finds enlightenment in tenants, says through scotch the truth will out. People cue to fund his habit as he sits among his friends, mute awaiting inspiration while an Irish mist descends. The trance exacts its liquid toll, another pint is down, someone says the incantation, I'll buy the next round. Then midway through the evening, Lee not having said a word, the muse at last moves him to speak, it comes out somewhat slurred, but while his diction may be wanting, his wisdom's the reverse, his intellect grows larger, his grammar swiftly worse. For any theme, in any field, in any conversation, you may not see Lee's cogs turn, but you'll see their lubrication. Gin is best for politics, for quantum physics porties. Yes, Lee'll stay for one last drink if someone else has bought his. The problem is, he's only wise when the whole pub is plastered. He's blinking good at getting tanked. What if that's all he's mastered? Cynics say that Lee's best lines all come from greater men. I heard him misquote Pascal once, then misquote him again. At least, I think that's what I heard. I was intoxicated. Lee was on my tab as well, his thirst as per unsated. It may all be so much hot air and Lee a normal bloke who wanted a free jar or two and in return just spoke. But as yet he's not been caught. The legend's going strong. Perhaps this purely proves that he's been clever all along. I know that he's a quiet lad and though he loves his drink, he's done what all the best minds do. He's made me stop and think.